Born in a small Serbian village, young Nikola Tesla had big dreams regarding electricity, and his vision of a better and quite literally a brighter future for humanity. Tesla immigrated to the United States, and immediately began his work as an overcrowded shop struggling to maintain the task of building a large electrical utility in Manhattan's Lower East Side. It was this work experience that helped to elevate Tesla into his future as he became obsessed with his own work experiments and theories. He is responsible for more than 300 patents, some of which are still being discovered even to this day. Tesla began believing in an old alchemical mysticism known as the Ether. He would talk about it for length and believe that he could tap into it and use his ability to create a future in which magical devices could exist and change the landscape and powers of humanity overall. This led to a popular quote that many people reference today in which Nikola Tesla states, When wireless is perfectly applied, the whole earth will be converted into a huge brain, which in fact it is all things particles of a real and rhythmic whole. We shall be able to communicate with one another instantly, irrespective of distance. Not only this, but we shall see and hear one another as perfectly as though we are face to face, despite intervening distances of thousands of miles and the instruments through which we shall be able to do this will fit in a vest pocket. Many think Nikola Tesla was talking about the mobile phone. Recently, a cultural society has made two letters public that were written by Nikola Tesla. Now of course anything related to Nikola Tesla is always going to be interesting. The team have confirmed the letters have been verified by a number of sources. The letters are dated from the 28th of December 1934 and the 12th of January 1935. What some have found interesting though is that the society has been aware of the existence of these letters for over 20 years, but have only recently traced them to a collector. These letters were addressed to two other scientists and has given researchers an insight into their communication. The letters have now found their way into the Tesla Museum and it includes an archive of thousands of documents, awards and personal items. What's interesting is that many credit Tesla as being a man born in the wrong era. Sadly, his work was left unfinished, his tower was destroyed, and he ended up dying penniless and alone in a hotel room. Many agree that the work he left behind has helped to lay the foundation of a better world. But had the world been ready for his gifts, much more could have been accomplished with ease. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.